by the dead of the day. It's by the popularity of what we are doing. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here's how we're going to break this down. We're going to talk through each of these questions to see who thought which one. Now, I want you all to understand, um, I'm not going to tell you the correct answer until the very end. I'm just going to ask you, and I'm going to ask you questions to push on what you're thinking, but I'm also going to ask other students to push on what you're thinking, right? So you can't just make a claim, you've got to have evidence. So, did anyone say that question A did not belong? Okay, nobody. What about question B? Did anybody say question B did not belong? Put your hand down. I picked B. You picked B? Your whole group didn't agree though? <laughs> All right, we'll hear from Jordan and Ethan, right? So, we'll start with Jordan. Why did you say question B didn't belong? All right, because I'm a stand out type person. I don't like being in a group, and a lot of people said D, right? So, <clears throat> so you just want to be obstinate? No, but like at the same time, question D is a basically a type of data. We could ask, okay, how many people like these type of chips? How many people like these type of chips? Okay, well let's see how many like you know what I mean. It's a it's a point of data. If anything, all these questions are a type of data for real. I didn't really understand the question. Oh, uh, so you're saying that they're all dealing with data, so none of them don't belong? Why you say data? I say data. <laughs> okay, data. Yeah, that's why. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, that's why. That's why I say all the data kind of, because it is everything is a type of data. For real. Okay, so let me put it to y'all. Do y'all agree that everything is deals with data in some way? Yes. Oh God, he gonna say no, y'all. Ooh, y'all tricky. Okay, I want to pause and I want to say this really quickly. Let, hear me very clearly on this because this is going to help you a lot in my class. If you ever have to say, I can't really explain it, that means we need to understand it better. And that's a, a good thing to know, right? It's okay to not know, but then you might need to ask a question. Anybody have a good way to explain or define what data is? The only question I got is what, the only question I got is what type of data is we collecting? Cause it all these all fits in specific spots. Like that's a what good type of question, and we'll actually look at the different types of data in a second. But before we get there, here's all we mean by data. Yes. Uh, I guess it's like evidence that kind of builds up to show that. So we can use data as evidence, but here's all we mean by data. It's information. That's what data is. And y'all are used to data being in graphs and in charts, but that's just one way to represent data. Data is just information. That's it. Are we getting information from these questions? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So are we getting data? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, Ethan, you did say, and we're going to come back to some of these ideas in a second, Jordan, but Ethan, you also agreed that question B did not belong. Why is that? Because um, if I get chips, if I get chips, I'm back chips. It's kind of random. So just because it's random? No, I'll, I'll point this out. I'm going to pause. Hold on. Is question B asking how many chips are in a bag of chips? No. But look at the beginning. What is the typical number? What do you think they mean by a typical number of chips? Like that average number of chips. Oh, listen very clearly on that. I need y'all to listen. What is an average number of chips in a bag of chips? That's something you could look at, right? A typical number or an average number of chips. Interesting. So averaging things deals with data. Uh, okay, so then what about question C? Who said question C didn't belong? Nobody? I was going to say, I've heard lots of people saying C did not belong. Okay? Can someone explain to me why you were saying C? No? Oh, God, work on I really explain. Explain. Well, it's not really relevant to the other, the other 
I mean, I'm asking about types of chips right here. And it's still no, data. Which type of chips the students prefer? So that means you're like getting different answers. You're getting different answers. I mean, but am I getting information here? Yeah. But the whole point is just collecting data in the first place. What's, we should collect all the data we need. We'd rather I mean, be I'm safer than sorry, you know? It's like a half. I kind of agree that what? it should be up there, but I kind of agree that it should be up there. Okay. So, what are you saying? And then I'll end with Emily. So, you're saying that. You're asking everybody as a group, are you going to get different responses here? I want to point this out, because I, and we can come back to this in a second. Because um, I've heard someone, or I've heard you all talking about um, a different question up here that would get different responses. Right? So if I'm looking at D, what type of chips do students prefer? Yeah, I'm asking the group, but when I ask individuals, I would get different responses, right? Because you could make like a poll out of it. Okay, I could make a poll out of it, or a survey is what we usually call it. Which of these other questions would result in getting different pieces of information, different pieces of data? A. A. A would? No, B. Can I ask you how many potato chips are in that bag? So I need you all to pay attention to this, okay? If you were to open this bag up and you were to count the pretzels in here, could you get multiple answers or just one answer? Just one answer. I don't know how many are in here right now. Well, but I'm not asking you to estimate it. If I ask you how many pretzels are in this bag, I'm asking you to what? Count, count the pretzels, right? So how many answers are there? One. one. Only one. So can question A get multiple responses? Oh, so question A don't Well, maybe. No, question B don't But listen to my question again. Hey, remember, this is my original question. Question D is going to get multiple responses. Which other question could get multiple responses? C. B. None. None of them. B. None. If I were to ask you, what is a typical number of chips in a bag of chips, yeah. I would have to go get multiple bags of chips, right? Mm -hmm. Would every bag of chips have the no. same number of chips? No. Yes, they would have zero because I eat them all. Okay, when you open them, <laughs> Joey, when you open them, are they going to have the same number of chips? No. <laughs> Maybe if you're extremely lucky. Hey, but here's the question. Hey, listen to this question. Would you expect there to be a different number of chips in each bag? Yes. Yes. Would you expect students to have different preferences? Yes. So with these two questions, what we're saying is we are expecting variability in the responses. Why are you talking while I'm writing on the board? That's a real question. Okay. I need you to write this down because this is critical. But where do you write it? Oh, yeah, y'all don't have... Oh, no, it, write it... That's a good question. There are multiple places you could write. Just write it at the top of the sheet, above where it says oh. lesson one, getting to know you. Um, there's four different things we're going to write down. If you are expecting variability in the responses, we're going to call that type of question statistical. What? I would just write down this. Actually, you could actually make the notes above questions B and D. Circle question B and D and write above it. We're expecting variability in the responses. So it's a statistical question. I forgot, I didn't give my students the sheet in Algebra 2. But just write it above those two questions. We would expect variability in those responses. So they are statistical questions. Statistical. Oh, okay. okay. Is that better? Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, so 
if a question expects variability in the response, you're talking about a statistical question. I want you to look at questions A and C though. What types of chip or what type of pretzels are those? How many correct answers are there? One. There's only one. So do we expect there to be variability? No. If I were to count the number of pretzels in here, how many answers would I have? One. So do I expect there to be variability? No. So if there is not variability, we're going to call it a non-statistical question. So if a question is non-statistical, variability is not expected in those responses. I just want to know if I got it right or not. Hey, those are statistical. These were non-statistical. Okay, just make sure it's clear that those are the non-statistical ones that you define them, okay? So when you look at the columns, you have the different types of questions. But these questions can also collect different types of data. What type of response would you get from questions A and B? Uh, question A, you'll get a specific number. Question B, they're running it up to the number they think it is. So both, for both of those, though, you're getting a what? Different number. You're getting a number, right? So if you're getting a number like this, what you're getting is numerical data. What is that? It means different numbers. Like Not just different numbers. I'm going to clarify in a second. If it's numerical data, the responses are different. Are numbers usually measured? You just a dictionary, but I could be able to spell that out myself. Okay, so yeah, those top two questions would result in numerical data. The responses would be numbers. Another thing I will point out is, um, what did someone say with question B earlier? What would you do to get the typical number of chips? Round it up. Not just round it up. Either. Estimate. Not to estimate. Count. You would have to count each individual bag, but what would a typical number be? The average. It'd be an average. Typically, if you can average the values, you're dealing with numerical data. So numerical data can usually be average. So then obviously question C and D would be another grouping. What kind of data or what kind of response would you get for question C and D? You well remember various variability would be questions B and D, right? For statistical questions. What connects C and D? But remember, A and B, we got numerical values. Are you going to get a number when we talk about the type of chips? No. They give you a name of the chip, which would be a type or a category. We're talking about categorical data. 
Yikes, please don't do that to my calculator. Why you got that in now? Okay, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> so categorical data, the responses fit into what? Categories. Categories, right? Mathematicians are not original. We name it what it is. Oh, it's numerical data because I'm getting numbers. Categorical data, oh yeah, the responses fit into categories. Not original at all. Nope, not original at all. We're just, but remember, all we're trying to do is develop a language, right? It wouldn't make sense to use random words. We're going to use words that make sense. How about the scientists? Usually scientific words are not random either. They're intentional. They just come from weird words. There's a lot of Latin roots in science. That's what I mean by weird words. Well, it's just words you're not aware of, but when they were first developed, right? Okay, I do want to pause before I continue. What are your questions? You said write this in the I would, or you could have written it identifying. And so regardless, what I might do is I would make sure it's clear what goes where. So like I would make sure that it's, I'm aware <coughs> statistical questions are questions B and D. Non-statistical questions are questions A and C. Numerical data, questions A and B. Categorical data for question C and D. Like, make sure it's clear what type of data goes with which type of question. So on so forth. Yes, Jordan. All I want to know is which data don't belong. Hey, Brooklyn, we still got seven minutes. Don't pack up. Is it question? Well, which question don't belong? Excuse me, I can't hear Jordan. He's asking a good question. Which question don't belong? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> it depends on how you define it, but all of them or none of them. Because mm. here's the thing I want you to notice. Look. Right here, question D. That's a statistical question that has categorical data. Do any of the other questions fit into statistical questions with categorical data? So they all fit in their own little way. So they all fit in in their own way. Which one you say? Categorical one. Categorical data? B, C, and B. Notice I, ca I color coded them, right? But I want you to notice part of. Hey, please listen. Part of the point of this was that it depends on how you define it and how you discuss it. Most of the ideas I gave you the proper language for, but weren't people already talking about the idea that there's different responses with these two questions? Right? People were already talking about the numbers for those top two questions. And so I'm just helping you develop that mathematical language for things that you already noticed but you do need to be familiar with these terms, all right? Now, I do want to clarify one thing. Just because you have a number does not mean it's numerical data. If I were to ask you, what zip code is Hillcrest High School in? I don't think so. I thought it was 35405. Okay. I don't even know what zip code I live in. Okay, that's fine. I only know this because my students earlier told me. But I, knew, I want you all to pay attention to this. That answer, first off, that question, is that statistical or non-statistical? Sorry, I have, have, have an alarm set so I don't... Can you tell me what time people. it is while you're up there? If that alarm goes off, that means we got five minutes left every single day. Okay, so it's non-statistical because how many responses are there? There's only one. It's non-statistical. Excuse me, we're not packing because we still have five minutes. You're not, I thought you weren't leaving early now, right? Okay, then stop packing. Pay attention, okay? Um, I know you got to go. Okay, so that is non-statistical. There's only one correct response. The answer is a number, but is it a numerical set of data? Why not? Well, it's not, it's not just because it's asking about one thing. It depends on the area. Is it something measured? No. Is it something that we can average? No. No. The zip code that someone lives in or that a location is in, that's a category. Yeah, it has a number associated, but the zip code is a category for that piece of information. Right? So again, I need eyes up here. Eyes up here. Hold on one second, Juan. I need you to notice, right, numerical data means that the responses are numbers 
usually measured, which means they can be added. Good afternoon, Walton. Yes, the one. Hold. The welcome title is back. Come out for Walton from 7 to 8 tomorrow night. That's yours. Yeah, guys, you need to hold on to that sheet of paper. Put that in your notebook. Don't just shove it in your backpack. One person per group. Please put the calculators up. Make sure you pack up your tape cards. You don't just shove them in your backpack.
See you, Joey. I was saying bye. I just learned they're doing a basketball court out there. Oh, is that what they're doing? Yeah, I think that's what it is. That's what you said. Why? Oh, they're because they're on the other side. Oh, uh, and they had to destroy it for what did they put on the other side. I think that's the welding stuff. That's right. But um, I'm glad of that because now I can watch what she is and trash them if they suck. No! <laughs> so, bro, I still like trash. It's so good. That's funny. And now I can yell at them from my room. Yeah. Hey, you suck. Which is probably not a great example of a teacher saying that. But yeah, I say fine. it sometimes. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's enough rap. How was your class today? What? They're just not as super into it or actively engaged. But how many do you have? 27? 30. In fourth block? I didn't have two of them today. So you have 27, 30, and the other was long. 23. It's down to 26 in my third block. 23. The kids moved to honors. Not great. Not the worst. No, the 23 and 26 isn't bad at all. The 30, though, is too, too many. I just don't have enough seats. I had to put one kid back at my desk today. Greetings for me. I mean, it's not. What's your biggest? 30. Okay. See you, Carla. He wants you to bet, and I was like, ah, this is terrible. Yeah. Who? Oh, girl, you get two years ago. I should have told you last Friday, they made me the other day. I was in the mail room, and you know, Coach Brown was asking how my class went. I was like, because so far, he asked, like, there's a girl this year. And I said, there's one student. Brad recruit.